everyone. I'm here at a wet morning here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, but I'm here today because we're going to talk about new snack and quick service locations that are now open at Walt Disney World Parks. I did a video back in the fall of common quick service foods here at Disney World that were closed down since um, reopening after the COVID-19 shutdown. Some have now reopened, so we're going to tour the world today, try some different places, and I'm going to show you at some different parks what is now open. So let's get started. Okay, the quick service location that I wanna show here at Hollywood Studios is Woody's Lunchbox. It's here in Toy Story Land. And it is my favorite quick service here at um, Hollywood Studios. And it was closed all the way until maybe about a month ago. So they have awesome sandwiches, barbecue brisket melt, grilled three cheese. But today we're here for breakfast. They have breakfast until 10.30. And they have this amazing egg bowl with potato barrels and a brisket gravy that they use from the leftover brisket from the day before. So here we go, we're gonna taste it. All right guys, so here it is, the breakfast bowl from Woody's Lunchbox. It looks absolutely delicious. Let's give it a taste. It is just as delicious as I remember it. Check out that beef brisket. It is so good. The whole thing just gels together so well. This is my favorite breakfast, I think, in all of Walt Disney World. So if you can get over here to Woody's Lunchbox, check it out. Now you do have to mobile order to eat at any of the quick services. So um, every, every area is like roped off around and they have these little A-frame signs. You can kind of see one in front of me. Um, and you can also mobile order from your My Disney Experience app. But I mobile ordered from my house before I even left because this is open from for breakfast from 8.30 to 10.30. So I picked 9.30, ordered at home and drove over here and came straight here for breakfast. So it's a really handy way to do things. And the main reason they're doing mobile distancing is because they still, or mobile, I'm sorry, the main reason they're doing mobile ordering is because there's social distancing in the area where you can sit. So instead of having this whole area filled with people, they're spacing out the amount of people that can come at a time and that way you can still eat comfortably um, during these COVID times. So next up, we're headed to Magic Kingdom to try some lunch options. All right, everyone, so we've made it to the Magic Kingdom. Check out the back of the castle, isn't it beautiful? And one of my favorite quick service restaurants is now back open here at Magic Kingdom. So let me show you what's going on. All right, so here's the Harbor House. This is one of my favorite restaurants here at the Magic Kingdom and it's across from Haunted Mansion. That's directly over there. Um, but the Harbor House is not open. They're using the inside of it as like part of the queue for Peter Pan right now. However, the food is back. So I'm gonna show you where the food is located so you can get some on your next trip to the Magic Kingdom. Okay, so we're back at the front of the park now. I'm, I'm looking at the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor um, and I wanna give you this as a landmark. So if I'm staring down Main Street towards the train, there's Casey's Hot Dogs, they're closed. So it's the Ice Cream Parlor, but if you keep turning this way, in front of us you're gonna see Tomorrowland Terrace and this is the restaurant that now houses the Columbia Harbor House menu. So they have basically put the entire menu here. If you like seafood, fish, fried fish and french fries or shrimp um lobster rolls they have it they also have chicken nuggets so i'm gonna get something to eat let's go all right so today i got fried shrimp everything always comes with hush puppies which i love and i decided to go a little healthier today so i got a salad it's a green salad with a little diced green apple on it so but normally i get fries and they usually load you over with fries Sometimes I also get shrimp with it. You can get a, or I'm sorry, fish with it. You can get a combo where you can get fish and shrimp. You can get three things with fish, shrimp, and chicken nuggets. So just depending what you want. They also have a really good looking lobster roll here that I've never tried but looks delicious. And some other great things. So if you're really into seafood, um, come check this place out. Again, it's one of my favorite quick services here at Magic Kingdom. And I'm so glad that they brought the food back. Even if it's in a different location, I actually like it because it's an open air location. It's pretty much outdoors. So it's a little bit, you know, feeling safer to eat um, anyway in these COVID times. So check it out here at the Magic Kingdom. And next we're heading. All right, everyone. So we've made it over to Epcot and you're probably thinking, well, Epcot has tons of food. Why would there be a hard stuff to find? And what is now open that wasn't? Well, when I'm not eating at an Epcot festival, which I love all of their festivals, and I always eat at the kiosks. But when I'm coming and I don't want to eat at the kiosks, there's certain snack items that I love that were not open when the parks first opened. But in the last month to, I don't know, six weeks, I have noticed some of them open and I have been trying them out and we're gonna try more today. So let's go see what they have. All right, 
so our first stop is going to be here in Norway, which is the home of the Frozen Ride, but as far as snacks are concerned, they have an awesome bakery here called the Kringala Bakery, and inside here they have um, lefse and school bread and rice pudding, and they have this chocolate chip cookie that I absolutely love. I call it the kitchen sink cookie because it has like all kinds of stuff in it. I think it's slightly changed. It's like a triple chocolate chip cookie, but it's back on the menu. So let's head in and give it a taste. All right, everyone. So I did not get the chocolate chip cookie because it is no longer a kitchen sink cookie. It's just like a regular chocolate chip cookie. So I was quite disappointed when I saw it. It used to be so good with like the chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, I think, walnuts, pecans. It was great. So I changed and got something a little more Norwegian. I got a chocolate kringala, which is like a sweet pretzel from Norway. And I figured this is a more authentic to the Norway bakery. Um, I really have never had anything bad from the Norway bakery, anything that I've tried. So let's give this a taste. All right, guys, that's pretty delicious. It's a nice soft dough, kind of similar to a croissant, maybe a little softer. It has a few little raisins here and there. Can you see those here? And the spicy makes it very sweet tasting. So I do like this. Check out the Kringala Bakery here at Epcot. Now we're gonna move on to a savory option. All right, so we're here in Germany and over here is the Beer Garten restaurant. But on this side, they have the Summerfest, which is a quick service. They have bratwurst, pretzels. Oh my gosh, I have missed this place. I'm so glad it's open. We're gonna get a bratwurst. All right, guys, here it is. The bratwurst with sauerkraut. And yes, I put ketchup and mustard on mine, so I'm sorry if that's a sin. Uh, you can also get this with paprika chips. I just chose not to because it's just a lot of food to eat. But that is an option as well. All right, I'm going to give this a taste. All right, guys, this is so messy but so good. It's falling apart on me, but, man, the bratwurst is absolutely delicious. It's hot and fresh. Their sauerkraut is delicious, too. It just has such a good taste. I'm going to keep eating, and it's starting to rain, so i got to hurry up. <laughs> All right, the last place I want to show you here in Epcot is here in England. The fish and chip shop oh, yeah, is back right. open. When I commented um, about hard to find snacks before, um, this place was closed. I absolutely love the fish and chip shop here in England and um, it's back open and I've already got to sample it. So it's pretty good. So check it out if you're here and you're a fan of fish and chips. It's absolutely delicious. All right, now, all right everyone. So after all this delicious food here at Epcot, let's head over to the Springs, Disney Springs and check out two brand new snack um, locations that have just recently opened. Let's go. All right, everyone. So we have arrived at Disney Springs and we're here to try the new Everglazed Donuts and Cold Brew. Um, they do, it is just open. So they have um, a virtual queue line that you can join um, since they're doing social distancing and only allowing so many people. It's a pretty small shop, but here's where it's located. This is Splitsville. And this right here is AMC Theaters. So here, that is that. Haleo is directly across. So this is here on the west side and it would be easy to miss because it's kind of like if you're, you'd be coming from this way from the parking garages or the buses. So if you would keep walking, you'd miss it. So you have to turn and here it is in the corner. So we're going to head in a little bit when it's our queue time and get some donuts. All right, so we're inside the store. Here's the menu. They also have tons of great coffees, spiked coffees. Uh, check out this drink right here. That's me. All right, guys. So we got three donuts. We got a purple ube donut, which is a type of sweet potato. It's a vegan donut. And then we got a strawberry iced with sprinkles. Just something classic. And then we got a fruity pebble donut. So let's give these a taste. Okay, guys. So this is the purple ube. This is the vegan donut. Again, it's made with sweet potato. And to me, it just tastes like a glazed donut, which is really funny because with the purple, you want to taste like grape or blueberry or something. But... It just tastes like a, a, a glazed donut, but it's a little bit of a thicker texture, I think from that sweet potato um, being part of the base of that donut. But it's pretty good. It's kind of light and fluffy too at the same time. It's it's not like thick and dense. It's, it's, it's definitely donut quality. All right, let me try the next one. Okay guys, the strawberry um, glaze is great. It's, it's just how you want a donut to taste. It's perfect. It's fluffy and chewy all at the same time. The yeast is a really nice raise to it. Um, nice and fresh. You can definitely taste the strawberry frosting, which I think is important when you get a strawberry iced donut. Um, I like it to taste strawberry and it does. And I love, I love sprinkles on a donut. You can't go wrong with that. Okay. And here's the fruity pebble, nice and fruity pebble flavor. And it has the crunch of the cereal. The cereal's fresh. And so it has a nice crunch to it. The donut is 
The donut is um, nice and moist and fresh as well. Um, it's just a really good combination. So I like it. I like all three. And I would definitely come back and try others as well. We're gonna head to one more spot here in Disney Springs. All right guys, so we've made it to our final stop. This is Gideon's Bakehouse here at Disney Springs. It is a brand new cookie and cake bake shop. And because of its popularity and newness, it also, just like the Everglades Donuts, has a virtual queue line. So you do have to get in the virtual queue line. This is very popular. Um, it was about a three hour wait in the virtual queue. Um, we got a virtual queue like right around noon. So we're going to be getting in like around 3.30 or 4. So just keep that in mind. The earlier you come, the better. And they have been filling up the queue by 7 p.m. every day. Um, and the place is open until 10. But just keep that in mind. If you want to get in here to Gideon's, you must get a virtual queue by 7 p.m. Also, from 7 to 8 at night, they do a hot cookie hour where they give you a hot cookie with ice cream. It's only from 7 to 8. And here's another fun fact. Just because my time is at 3.30, if I wanted to wait until 7 to come and do the hot cookie hour, I could. I don't have to come right when my time is called, but I do have to use my time once it's called before that day is finished. So I can't use it like tomorrow, if that makes sense. So we're going to get in line here and check out Gideon's Bakehouse. Alright guys, so we're inside Gideon's Bake Shop and I just had to show you. Check out the art on the wall. Very cool. I wonder who made all these pictures. And they have such a neatly decorated display here. These are candles. Oh boy. But it's like a whole little bookshop is like the theme. So it's pretty cute. All right, guys, so here's the cake. They have red velvet. Today they have a cinnamon, caramel, sweet cream in the middle, and then they have a cookies and cream cake. The cakes are different every day, so it's just going to depend. And here's the cookie. These are the cookies they have for sale. Original chocolate chip, cookies and cream, peanut butter crunch, triple chocolate, and pistachio toffee chocolate chip. And I think these um, flavors vary, so they may or may not have these flavors when you come, or they may have different ones. All right, guys, so I want to show you. This is the peanut butter nitro cold brew. They only do cold brew coffee, I think. Um, but this is delicious. If you like peanut butter, this has a really good peanut butter taste along with the coffee. Um, so I highly recommend getting this. The cookies and cake are all wrapped up, so we're going to take those home and give them a try. So stay tuned. That's coming up next. All right, everyone. So we made it home, and here is the cake slice. So we got the red velvet cake slice. And check out the stuff on the back. I don't know if these are nuts or if this is just frosting. I'm going to give it a taste. All right, everyone, that's absolutely delicious. The red velvet cake is super moist. The cream cheese frosting is absolutely delicious. It almost tastes like you're eating a bar of Philadelphia cream cheese. It's just super good, really good flavor of the cream cheese. And these are caramelized walnuts on the back. Really delicious. So I highly recommend the cake piece. As I said in the store, they do three different cake pieces a, or cakes a day. So it's just going to depend when you go what, what slices they have, what flavors they have. Now I'm going to try the cookies. All right, so this is the triple chocolate cookie. So it's a chocolate cookie. You can see the back. It's all chocolate. And then it's got, look at these giant chocolate chips. <laughs> it's got little pieces of sea salt in there. And... Chocolate ganache. Oh, and chocolate ganache. Okay. So let's give this a taste. All right, so that's amazing. It's really dense, but it's super moist, so it's not dry at all. The chocolate is just delicious. So if you're into chocolate, this is the way to go. Um, it's really rich, but it's, it's really good. So as you can see how big they are, you're not going to be able to eat this in one sitting. I took one bite, and my husband took one bite, and we still have a ton of cookie left. And there's, there's sea salt or... or... Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it, the salt, yeah, it's, you can taste that against the sweet. It helps it, like, not be so much sweet, sweet. But I'm definitely going to have to put this away and, and try it again tomorrow. So um, I heard they, they hold up really well, especially if you put them in the fridge. So now I'm going to try the other cookie we got. All right, and this is the pistachio and toffee chocolate chip. This is the one that I'm really excited to try. So... Uh, it's a white cookie, as you can see at the back, like a chocolate chip cookie, but it's got pistachios. You can see them all around. It does also has the sea salt on there, and it has like toffee all mixed in too. So let's give this a taste. 
this cookie is right up my alley. I love cookies that have a ton of different things going on. And this is it. It is sweet and salty and nutty and caramel all at once. The chocolate and the caramel, the nut, the pistachios, the sea salt, it just all goes together so well. This is my kind of flavor. So for me, this is my favorite, but everything is amazing. The cake, I just can't even get over it. The peanut butter cold brew that we had earlier too was just really good. So I highly recommend Gideon's. Again, plan on a three to four hour virtual wait um, once you get your time. So get your time early, spend some time at the Springs, and then get your stuff. It's definitely worth the wait for sure. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our trip around Walt Disney World as we tried several different quick service and snack locations that are newly opened um, since COVID-19. So I hope this gave you some good ideas of things to find on your next Disney World trip. And maybe it's some food items that you have missed like I have. Like I've definitely missed the Columbia Harbor House at Magic Kingdom. I'm so glad that they brought that food back over to the Tomorrowland Terrace. I'm so glad Woody's Lunchbox is back open at Hollywood Studios. The Bratwurst in Germany. The fish and chips. All of those things are just some of my favorite places to eat. And I'm so glad they're back open. And these two new snack locations from Disney Springs. The Gideon's Cookies. Amazing. And even the um, Everglaze Donuts. Love those as well. If you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video, which is usually once a week. Thanks for watching.